So let's start with the growing your team. I love what you talk about with core behaviors versus core values. Let's let's dive into it. What is the dip? What is, why do values matter first of all? But then, what is the difference between core values and core behaviors? Yeah, well, I think everybody goes through and does this kind of same um, BS level core values exercise, and they put them up on the wall and they say, "We're going to have high integrity, and we're going to have honest, and we're going to be customer centric, and all this kind of stuff." And you look at what happens with those classic core values that are on the wall. Uh, everybody just walks past them. Like they get mentioned every once in a while, but they don't actually ever get used as a tool to shape your culture. And what people, I think, including myself, have realized over the past couple of decades is it's not about what words you put on the wall or what brand is on your t-shirt or you know, do you have pizza parties in terms of defining a culture. It's what sort of behaviors are you promoting inside of your organization, right? And like, how do you train and align everybody around how to do that. And and when your company is small, that's easy to do because everybody learns your culture and what you want as a CEO or as a founder of your business or of your contracting company. They learn that by watching what you do. They're in meetings with you and they have that time. And it's part of one of the powers of being in office. Um, over time, as your company gets bigger, you don't get to do that anymore as a, as a CEO owner. Or if you're running a contracting company and you have some people in the office and some people out in the field, like, you know, those people who are out in the field don't necessarily get to see you all the time and understand kind of what that is. So core behaviors is really this idea that instead of defining four or five or six core values, integrity, customer century, honesty, whatever, um, instead of doing it that way and relying upon those to shape your culture, what you really need to do is define core behaviors of what sort of activities you want your company to be doing. So you know, I learned about this process um, from a book and also from my friend who runs a staffing company here in San Antonio, uh, VIP staffing. And uh, he's used this system to a great extent. I've used it inside of my org to shape the culture. And so like one of the ones he has is uh, we return all phone calls the same day, right? If we get a phone call that day. And so like you're like, that doesn't sound like much of a core value, but it's a core behavior that he has instilled inside of his organization that is transformative because not, now we don't say, hey, we're customer centric or we don't say we're responsive. We say, oh, hey, like we return calls yeah. and this is how we live that core value. So they're tied together, but ultimately you get so much more specific. So there's a recipe and an opportunity for your team to follow that and all be aligned around that. And so this core behavior system um, of which you end up with like 20 or so of these core behaviors can be transformative in an organization rather than just five nebulous kind of core values. That is what most people do. 